Gonzalez McHugh. Thank you. How are you going? Good. Great. Good to be here. I um I recently just got back from America, and uh, you realise how small New Zealand is when you go to a country that's that big. Like, uh, for example, I, I really like true crime, and in America they've got like like so many serial killers, but we've never had one in New Zealand. It's because it's such a small country, like everyone just knows one another. <laughs> if it ever came out that there was a serial killer in New Zealand, it'd be like, oh crack up, it's Hamish from Window Nepal. <laughs> He didn't pay his fees either. Like, <laughs> I, uh, so this is good. Like, this comedian is doing a comedy show for TV. It makes sense. But sometimes, like entertainers, we get asked to go on like panel shows and talk about serious stuff. And they always have like like experts on it. And then there's always someone there who's just like out of place, but they're only there because they're kind of famous. Like for example, it'll be like, oh hey, today uh, we're going to be talking about the invasion of Ukraine. Our special guests are the head of politics at Auckland University, the Ukrainian ambassador to New Zealand, and Jason Gunn. <laughs> but it's good, like New Zealand's so good, like I love politics, and uh, like compared to other countries in New Zealand, it's quite tame here. Like uh, the biggest news a month ago was that Christopher Luxon likes drinking Coke Zero. That was literally like the biggest news. <laughs> That's, he's the blandest looking mother ever, like, isn't he? Like, <laughs> He just looks like every guy from Havelock North. <laughs> you know you're really white when you do an Ancestry DNA test and you get the results back and it's just a Coldplay CD. <laughs> so the reason I look the way I do is because uh, my dad is from South America and my mum is Cliff Curtis. So I kind of like those up. <laughs> So uh, the reason I was in America is uh, me and my two of my good friends, we just uh, signed a deal to write a TV show over there. And, uh, oh, stop it. And I actually, yeah, give it up. All right, thank you. And uh, it's pretty cool, but like my dream is to, like, I love writing, my dream is to write a book one day. Like I'd love to get a book deal. And I was thinking like the biggest ever book deal that anyone got, I reckon it was probably um, Jesus with his book on, in all the hotels. <laughs> That joke died at the Glory Bell gig last week, man. Like, <laughs> the after party was hectic, though. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions so far? <laughs> I, um, I've got my own idea for a reality TV show. All right, you get every New Zealand reality TV star, you put them on the most isolated island in the Pacific Ocean, you leave them there for a few weeks, just leave them to it, then a few weeks later, a message in a bottle will wash up into the shore. They'll read the message, and the message will say, the cameras aren't even on. No one knows you're here, lol. <laughs> hey, you're great. Have a good night.